hello to my favorite couple in the whole world. <laughs> um, I just want to tell you guys about my um, recent voiceover experience. It can be described as that, <laughs> for sure. Um, it was for my friend uh, who is an audio student at the university that I go to. Um, I'm a student of film and he's a student of audio, but anyway, um, <laughs> we met at a uh, class that we had together. And uh, he asked me one day, which this was like maybe two months ago, and uh, a month ago, I mean, a month and a half, something like that. <laughs> and um, he asked me to, you know, do something voiceover like. For him, he's like, "Can I borrow your voice for a second? I'm like, "Sure," <laughs> and um, he he just, you know, he was very happy. He was very happy about it that I said yes, <laughs> and, uh, and so I, w I went to do it for him. And it was just pure impro at that time. And he's just like, "You have to just scream and you know be irritated, just." act out as an angry cab driver who's stuck in traffic and late for work. You know, or someone like that. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> he was doing an assignment, you know, so I needed ADR. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Um, and I did it. It was pretty fun <laughs> to, to, to just scream and <laughs> yell some random things. <laughs> it was pretty fun to do. Um, and also, when I stood behind that mic and put his headphones on, just, I felt very confident. Like I could do anything that he told me to do. You know? <laughs> like if he told me to be an old woman, I would do it. Or if he told me to be a five-year-old child, I will do that too, you know. Um, I just felt like I could do anything. And um, I also told him that I want to pursue it professionally voiceover and um, he's like oh that's cool you know and I'm like just call me whenever you need anything voiceover done you know <laughs> I'll do it um, you know just to practice for the real thing you know and um, he he was very happy about it he was a very he's a really good person he's very gentle and kind um, and uh, he actually called me again and this time he had a script and a, and a video for me to watch. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> and um, I was maybe a bit intimidated at first by the script because um, I had to do some yelly stuff. Um, I had to act out a woman who's... And, and this was for a live action thing. You just needed ADR replacement, like dialogue. Um, so I did that for him. But because uh, I had to do a lot of screaming, right? And unfortunately for myself, I left my water bottle in the other room. <laughs> so, but luckily, also I warmed up a bit before I did it. So I'm like, okay, that's that's good. I had time because his friend was doing something else before me, you know. Um, and I just had to <laughs> fill in. Um, so I had. To, I was doing it after him, after that friend, and um, so I had time to prepare because he was doing it for like half an hour, and that's more than enough time to warm up your voice. And um, so I did basic things, you know, just quietly so the microphone doesn't pick it up. <laughs> and um, and we finally got to do to be my turn, you know. I'm like, oh. No. <laughs> Um, th this time, you know, I had more lines. Uh, I had to do, I had to be a voice, a newswoman, a woman who's in panic, and she's scared and stuff. And I had to do some background voices for people. Um, so I did those things. <laughs> it was, um, it was different. It was, it was cool. It was, it, I just felt like I needed to be there. 
I felt really, really safe around that environment. Like, there was no one there but me and, you know, him. And, uh, in the other room. And he was just... Um, we had these studios, you know, for voiceover and stuff like that in, at our university. Because they made a new building this year. Like, a new place for us. And, um... I'm so happy about that, by the way. Um, and he just, you know, he told me, like, okay, let's try that again. Because um, oh, I, I knew that stuffed up, so I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> um, and he's like, you know, he was, like, he was laughing about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so fun. Um, even the mess ups were fun. It's just fun. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I did those things and it made me feel really good about myself. I also did a bit for my assignment. Um, there was a, it was a group assignment for a uh, audio post-production subject. And we had to do a ADR and full Foley um, replacement stuff. And then, so I... I offered to do a voice for a character in the little animated movie we did, um, we chose. And uh, so it was just two lines, they were short, but um, I really enjoyed it, you know. Um, and then, you know, I actually heard the beeps <laughs> first and then <laughs> I had to do it. Um, I felt really, I just felt really confident like, to stand behind that mic and put those headphones on. It was really cool. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, I just felt like that, you know, I have some th something to do and I'm going to do it right. I don't care how long it takes, but I'll do it. I just had that feeling and I had a feeling that I could do anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, since I've been, you know, reading your lovely voiceover book right here, <laughs> and um, I also got that CD, but I, I haven't listened to it for a long, for a while now because I've been busy with things. But I will get to that also soon, and uh, which is also cool because I listened to it once. And I uh, just want to say that shelf life is freaking amazing. I'm gonna get that soon online. Um, yeah, good luck with everything, guys. You're amazing. It was so great to meet you in June. I uh, see the photos that are behind me. <laughs> Just right there next to my bed so I can look at them every night when I go to sleep. <laughs> anyway, um, good luck with everything, guys. I love you so much. And hope to see you next year. <laughs> Bye.